Good morning, students. Let's have a special lecture for this course, Sustainability and Climate Change. Let's talk about typhoon and wind energy today. Last year, there's a typhoon attacked Hong Kong, and that maximum wind speed was 180 km per hour. And this time, the typhoon speed wind speed maximum is 240 km per hour. What does it mean? In other words, if we convert it into SR unit, it's about 66 meters per second. So it will take only 1.5 seconds for us to finish a 100 meter dash. So the speed of this typhoon is around 1.33 times faster than the last one. Does it mean that the power is also 33% more? Of course, it's not that simple. According to the equation of kinetic energy is equals to half mv square, the energy is proportional to the square of speed. So it should be at least 66% more. And it is also not correct. Because we also need to consider m. The mass of the air will increase according to the wind speed. So if the wind speed is increased to 66 per second, then, after we multiply the area in one second, the total area will be pi r squared multiplied by the distance traveled by the wind, 66 meter. And therefore, if we put this number into the equation, replace m, so m will be the density multiplied by the area and the distance traveled in one second, which is equivalent to another v. So, the power of wind is proportional to V cube. So if the wind speed is 33% more, then the power should be 1.33 to the power of feet, which is about 2.37 times more, which is 137% more. Okay. So what does it mean? How much energy, how much value can we get? So if we put all this number into the equations, the power in the wind will be half multiplied by the density multiplied by the pi and 25, which is the radius of the llama wind turbine and the cube of the velocity, 66, which is, which is equivalent to 290 kilowatt. So in one hour, what's the value? So if we multiply it by the unit rate of 1 kilowatt per hour is equivalent to around 337,000 Hong Kong dollar. But this is also not exactly because the efficiency is usually less than 50%. And also, when the wind speed increase, the pressure at the high speed wind will also drop. So this is a chart showing the relationship between pressure and the density. The lower the density, the lower the pressure, or vice versa. So the value of 1.2 kilogram per meter cube is not exact correct. So this number should be lower because of the lower of the pressure. Moreover, there is a cut off speed. When the wind speed is exit 25 meter per second or equivalent to 90 kilometer per hour, then the wind turbine have to be stopped. Otherwise, the wind turbine may be damaged. Therefore, there are many other factors that we need to consider. So, let me pose these three questions for us to discuss in the coming lectures. So, how much times will be the power of this typhoon higher than the last one if we take the density change into consideration? And how much energy will be generated by the Lemma Island wind turbine and also what's the equivalent market value. Okay, see you on Wednesday.